Hello YouTube, welcome back to another video. My name is Alexia Nicole and I'm living my life by design. So I said to y'all that I would not be doing any more flight attendant vlogs, but I would try to give y'all just like a little bit more of just content surrounding my life of being a flight attendant again and a real estate agent. Um, real estate agent. Anyways, so today is January 12th, Thursday, 7.26 p.m. And I have a trip tomorrow. I picked up a two-day trip out of Houston. So for the month of January, I was able to give away all of every, all of my reserve blocks that I was scheduled in Oakland. So I was scheduled Wednesday, Thursday, Fridays, three day blocks every Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Um, and I was able to give away those um, days of reserve um, for $825. I had to pay people to take those reserve days. And then my board was completely clear for the month of January. And um, then I was able to pick up trips out of Houston or reserve blocks. Sorry, I'm not, I'm multitasking is my thing, y'all. And we're just gonna deal with that. Um, I went to go look at one of my clients, new construction, and I am sending her the video um, foundation slash framing unlisted sometimes when I do these videos for clients they're just they're too long for me to send like via text or email so I put them on YouTube as unlisted and just send them to them so that's that's what I'm doing right now um, Uh, upload um so yeah so I was I picked up two reserve blocks this month and three trips so earlier this week I was on reserve Sunday Monday Tuesday right I think it was Sunday Monday Tuesday yeah Sunday Monday Tuesday and they gave me a trip so I did a three-day trip um, that ended on Tuesday and then I had two days off and I've been working real estate these past two days. And now I'm prepping to go on another trip that I actually picked up this two day trip. Um, it's just one overnight in San Antonio. And I really picked it up to go see my cousin and my family because I just I haven't seen them in a minute. And so I was like, OK, I, I need to work. I need to get some hours um, and I can go see my family. So I picked up this two day, three legs tomorrow, one leg back. Um, and that's it. So it's simple enough. Um, and then I go back on reserve Sunday again. I'm looking at, I don't, this isn't the phone with my schedule on there. So, um, anyways, then I have another reserve block, I believe that starts Sunday. I have Saturday off and then another reserve block that starts Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. Again, we'll see if something happens. Then I think a couple days later, I picked up another trip, a three-day trip, and then hello. Hey, girl. Hello. On the, uh, I can see the uh, eviction. I can read that when I blow it up. But on the criminal, there was no criminal records, right? No, no criminal records. Okay, I don't need anybody. Okay, he, he's already texted me about that. I told you he would be asking. <laughs> yeah, criminal. No, no criminal okay. records on any of them. Okay, thank you, sweetheart. You're welcome. Uh -huh. Bye. -bye. Bye. Um, that's a lease client that I'm trying to get the lease done. What was I saying, y'all? Um. Anyways, I picked up some trips for this month, so. I'm really trying to figure out how I'm going to make this work because I don't want it to feel like a struggle. And before, like in 2020 was the one year where I was super busy with real estate um, and I was still trying to fly like, I 
time my regular schedule and it was just kind of all over the place and as y'all know I ended up leaving so I, I really I really want to make this work um, I have not got my transfer to Houston yet I'm still Oakland based I will be Oakland based until February at this point they just sent out vacancies for March and there are a few bases that have some openings. They have about 400 openings for the month of March. I believe we should have by then um, a couple of classes should have graduated that started at the beginning of this year. So there should be some movement. Will I necessarily get into Houston in March? I don't know. Um, so I'm just still kind of waiting. I went ahead and like changed around my my base options where I would prefer to go. Um, I'm only really open to going to cities that I know somebody that lives there so I can like crash on their couch. So like Denver, I have an aunt that lives in Denver. Phoenix, Fawn lives in Phoenix and she literally lives like five minutes from the airport. So of course I could pro definitely stay with her and Dallas. I could just go back to um, where my old crash pad was, which is no longer a crash pad. But Brandy told me, you know, I can stay there anytime that I need. Um, so I just want those to be my secondary options. Just in case I'm not able to get rid of reserve days that are going to be on my board and I just have to be in base. I would prefer to be somewhere where I'm not having to pay for hotels and figure out just... Living arrangements, I'm trying to make life very simple. So that's just where I'm at right now. But anyways, um, starting the two day trip tomorrow, I have a report time of 5 a.m. What did I tell y'all? It's 7.30 p.m. right now. So honestly, I need to be getting ready to go to bed. But I did go grocery shopping yesterday. So I kind of want to do a very simple meal prep. I don't need a lot. I really only need like breakfast and lunch for tomorrow so I'm probably just going to take my small lunch kit um because I did tell my cousin that you know we could like go out to eat or something or maybe I'll just go over to their house and um eat some food so that's what we're going to do tonight or maybe I'll just kind of talk to y'all through that anyway something else that's been going on in my life here recently um I've always had really bad back pain since I started flying like I have a very high pain tolerance, y'all. Um, so the level that my back pain is at is crazy. Um, crazy. But I think I've just gotten so used to it that I don't really, I don't outwardly complain about it. I complain about it to myself, but I'm never just like, oh my God, my back hurts. Like, anyway, so I went to a new chiropractor. If y'all follow, um... Um, if y'all follow Court to Fly, she's also a flight attendant with my airline and she's also a chiropractor. Um, I don't know. I had mentioned something on Instagram and she told me to go see a chiropractor. Oh, about my, my sinuses and my allergies. She told me to go see a chiropractor for that. And I was like, wow, I didn't even know a chiropractor could, you know, do something about that. But anyway, so, because I would go to the joint ever so frequently, but y'all know the joint doesn't, it's like low budget chiropractor <laughs> is how I, you know, their business model is really cool, but they don't, you don't necessarily have the same doctor that knows your conditions and all of those things and it's going to just give you like great treatment. You're basically just going to go in there, get adjusted and go on about your business. So I took it upon myself. She sent me some recommendations, but I also found some on my own. And, um, got ice back. Um, went to a chiropractor and, a uh, black owned chiropractor here in Houston, not too far from my house. And, um, she did x rays of my back, which I don't think I had done. Honestly, I was supposed to do that, and I know I was supposed to do it, um, a couple of years ago. Um, and for whatever reason, I just never ended up going. And so when I went to this chiropractor, she did the x-ray right there in the place. And long story short, I have like a mild scoliosis, which I never knew. I don't know how long I've had it. 
any of that. So now I'm getting adjusted about like two times a week to kind of get that where it needs to be. And then when I went in today, she was telling me, um, well, I was telling her that I needed something to do while I'm working because my back, like the inflammation is always worse while I'm actually flying. Um, and I think, you know, it's just, it's just a lot. Like flying is so hard on the body. Um, you're one, you're dragging your suitcases behind you. You know, you're doing all of that. Then you're on this aircraft in this tiny little aisle and you're consciously but almost unconsciously or you just get so used to it that you're always standing in positions to brace yourself so your body is never just really truly relaxed because turbulence can happen at any point in time so I'm always probably just like in a posture that isn't maybe necessarily the best and then don't get me started on them uncomfortable jump seats <laughs> and you know, like, and why did you go back to this job? <laughs> so anyway, so I think it's just a mixture of that that causes um, really bad inflammation um, in my lumbar down here. And then she also said, like, my hips. Can y'all see that? My hips are um, uneven. So down here and like up in here, like it extremely tight so I say all of that to say as y'all know I get long-winded she told me to get an ice pack and um basically put it on before I start my work day um to help with um what does the cold this one is okay this can be heat or cold but cold of course and I'm just gonna stick it in the freezer and the cold, it, it, soothes, it soothes the muscles, basically. It helps with the inflammation and things like that. So, going to stick this in here. So that can, well, I said put it in the refrigerator, right? Can I put it in the, if I put it in the freezer, is it going to pop? Freezer and microwave safe. Okay. <sighs> so, that's that. Also, I want to show y'all some little goodies that I bought for my flight attendant life. Um, I got really annoyed and irritated the other night with myself because I have all these freaking devices that have to be plugged in and do all the things. So I went on Amazon and um, I bought this charger, which will charge three devices at once and you can like lay it flat or it's like this and like look how little this is right like look at this i have a pack of like a bag this big that has like all these chargers and adapters i was y'all y'all should have seen me the other night i was so annoyed i was like because i just wanted to go to bed but of course you have to plug up all these things because all these things need to be charged so i bought this um it says one is for cell phone, my watch, and this part kind of pops out. And then this is AirPods, but I don't use AirPods anymore. I have the the Beats, the little Pro Beats, and those are not wireless charging. So, but I do have two phones. I got two phones. Um, so I think both of them can work. I think they both can work on here. So I bought this. Just wanted to show y'all this little nifty thing that I bought. Um, just in case you're like me and you're tired of having all these silly devices that need to be charged. So that eliminates three things that need to be three cords. Um, I also bought a book to read on the jump seat because I won't lie. It is very tempting to like put in the AirPod and watch a movie when you have downtime and things like that. But you should never as working crew. You should never, ever have in headphones as working crew. And so I need something to do. So I was on one of the many flight attendant pages that I'm in on Facebook. And they're starting like a little book club kind of. So this is the book that we're going to read for the month of January. So I got my little book club book. And oh, this has nothing to do with flying. But since this is kind of just like a 
get ready for work with me chit chat. I went to Target today <laughs> and I bought some goodies. This is just a little onesie shirt top thing. Um, some shorts. I could either like work out in these or just kind of lounge around. I really bought these more so to lounge around. Um, and then I bought these two tops because I already have the shorts to match these. Things that I didn't need, I should probably take back. But um, I'm going to keep them. And then I also bought these little stackable containers. They are like the good plastic, the hard plastic. Um, and they connect with one another. I don't, to, don't use the scissors. I don't want to cut the glass. Scratch it. Um, so y'all see? Like, look. <laughs> they twist on and off with each other. So that's pretty cool. So when I start getting real fancy with my meal preps and stuff for work, I want to make like overnight oats and things like that and chia seed pudding that I used to eat all the time. I'm not even going to mention losing weight, but y'all know. Um, so yeah, I bought these because I figured they would just fit pretty easily within um, my lunch tote, my food bag. Um, what else did I buy today, y'all? Um, oh, they're over here though. Hold on. Okay. So I'm not really so much of a card giving person. Um, like when I get cards, I'm like, oh, that's very sweet. But like, I just feel like, what, what do I do with it after I read it and appreciate it? Like it, it I just store it. I, I, I just store it. I have a little box from when I was a child of like all the cards that I received my whole life up until I was like 15 or 16 and they just sit there. <laughs> so <laughs> cards are very nice, um, but I'm not one of those people that like necessarily cherish and hold on to them and display them for life. But when you go in Target, this is the thing about Target. When you go in Target, be ready to spend at least 50% more in money than you planned on going in there for. Because I went into Target only to find... I didn't even buy these at Target. I bought these at Home Goods. But I went into Target looking for more things like that. And I left Target with none, none of that. And I got cards. So Black History Month is coming up. So they have their Black History Month section. And these are all designed by, I guess, a black man. And they're just so cute. This one says, this one says, that thing that, that thing you did, the truth you live it, the glow you have it, the world you deserve it. And this is a happy birthday one. This one, you shine with the warmth of the sun and the grace of a goddess. Um... And then this is just, you know, I celebrate you every day. So this could just be for like whatever. This one says you are worthy. Um, it's another birthday one. Um, you always hold it down. Look at how beautiful. Yeah, I just fell in love with these. Um, and this one says I'm lucky and thankful to have a friend like you. Um, I'm the type of person like. I will randomly, like, if I see something that I think one of my friends would just love, I'll buy it. I'll buy it. Um, it doesn't have to be a specific occasion. I'm not really a big birthday, Christmas, holiday type of gift giver. I'm just a more, oh, I saw that and I thought you would really appreciate it type of giver. So, now I got cards to go oh, with those type of givings. Look at this one. This could be me and Kiki. I'm going to have to find a reason to give her this. Friends like you make tough days lighter, the laughter greater, and the journey sweeter. So grateful the friend you are to me. And uh, I could cry just thinking about that. Um, this one says, happy birthday, queen. The queen in me admires, respect, loves, sees, celebrates, and cherishes the queen in you. Happy birthday. My friend, I'm not going to say that yet after the fact, but I have a friend whose birthday is coming up. <laughs> Love looks good on us. This is me speaking into existence. Because your girl is very much single. Oh. Did I, t I think I told you. I think I did say this in a vlog. But have I actually posted it? I don't think. I don't. 
I did, I did, I did, right? I don't know, but I think it was in the um, the Q and A where I was telling y'all that um, my friends Kevin and Kier had me do the fast with them. Um, we was fasting for a man, and what came of that fast? I don't think I've updated y'all of what came of that fast. Maybe or maybe not. But what came of it was that one. I didn't find a man. I just told y'all I'm still single. But it cleared the fog. And it made me realize that there were people, men, in my life that didn't really deserve to be here. They were just holding space and not really contributing to my happiness is how I I deciphered it in my head. So everybody got blocked before 23 started. So if you were in my phone and you weren't contributing to my happiness as a male counterpart... Um, then you had to go. So I made space for new love. <laughs> and this one says, love looks good on us. Like, how cute is that? Like, come on, give me that. And then you're a blessing to me and I love you so much. So one day I'm, I'm going to be able to get this to a man. And then this one says, each step I take with you feels like I'm flying. And it's two little, two little black couple. And you make my heart sore. So, yeah, that's just me speaking love into existence. And just some really cute cards from Target. Um, Target, pay me, please. Anywho, what we really came on here to do, let's do a little bit of a meal prep. Um, God, I really need to go to bed, so I don't want to do anything that's going to take too much. Can y'all see the refrigerator? Hold on. So I went and cleaned out everything. Don't mind that, Dr. Pepper. But um, there was nothing, nothing good in here. Only thing I kept was like this top row of condiments. Um, I didn't even do too much damage, but I did a little damage. I got me some eggs. I love hummus. Oh, I could put the hummus in my, uh, oh, but I didn't get no crackers for the hummus. I got some feta. So the plan is to make salad jars. Like that was, that was the reason why. I went to the grocery store because I wanted to get stuff to make salad jars, but I don't have any mason jars and I was looking for like plastic ones and I guess I'm just going to have to order that on Amazon. So, uh, I'm not going to make any salad jars for tomorrow, uh, but ooh, I can get one of these yogurts, Chobani, I like that. I'm going to try to start drinking oat milk. I usually drink almond milk, which is fine too, but I want to try the oat milk. That's some gumbo that I put in. It was frozen yesterday. Hopefully, it's not so frozen anymore because I think I'm going to have that for dinner. That's my stepdaddy, uh, Junior. He uh, froze me some gumbo because I wasn't here for that. Um, the different fetas, some berries, and some um, tomatoes. And you know the things. Carrots, mushrooms, grapes, lots of water. Anyways. So, as I was saying, I'm really not going to do anything massive for tomorrow. Um, but I'll pour a little bit of this hummus into one of these so I can snack on that. But dang, I really don't have no crackers to go in my hummus. I think I might make this for like a lunch because I'll be able to... Um, eat this cold on the plane tomorrow it's just a pasta salad and that's really all i need but i did buy which i used to buy so y'all might remember this um i bought these uh, oops i bought these again um because honestly i'm just like a lazy cooking person so i want i want things to be easy so you just nuke these and they're just some you know healthy grains and then I can either put these in like the salad jars that I'm going to make um, or I can just serve these up with like a protein on the side. Very simple to do. Um, for whatever reason, I was like in the pasta mood yesterday. So I bought these Bonanza chickpea um, pastas. I was talking to my friend yesterday. She said they don't taste that great. So we'll see. I bought some of those. Um, pasta flakes. I always get that. Um, and then I'll have a shelf stabilized almond milk to drink with that. Oh, and I also bought 
Y'all, if you don't follow me on Instagram, go ahead and follow me on Instagram. Because if you know, <laughs> I paid $7.28 for this little bully beef. $7.28 for this can of corned beef. <laughs> ah! I could have died. But that was at H-E-B, so... I could probably find it at Fiesta or Food Town for maybe a little bit cheaper. Anyways, I'm going to have this probably later on in the week over some um, some white rice and enjoy my little Jamaican life. Um, damn, the person keeps calling. Um, so, yeah, y'all, I mean, that's really it. Um, where's my little lunch kit? Let me show you my little, little, little lunch kit. So, this is my little baby. This is all I need because I'm not really going to do a whole bunch as far as meal prepping for uh, a very minimal trip. Three legs tomorrow. My duty day is like seven hours and one leg back from San Antonio tomorrow. That flight is less than an hour, so it's probably like a two-hour duty day. So I really don't need... A bunch of stuff. I really just need breakfast and lunch. Breakfast for two days and lunch for one day. And I'll eat with my family tomorrow. Um, yeah. That's it. So, anyways. I just wanted to chit chat with y'all and kind of give y'all a life update. Um, I'll say hi in the morning before I go to work. Um, and yeah. That's all for now. Bye. Oh, y'all know what? I came back just to tell y'all. I bought some sliced cucumbers, and I can just kind of dip my cucumber in the hummus as a snack tomorrow. I don't need no cracker. That's all. Bye now. Down deep in my soul. Down deep in my soul.
I'm out the house. I'm gonna have to speed like a banshee to get to work on time. I was planning on leaving five minutes ago, or really eight minutes ago. Um, but I could not find my wings. <laughs> and that's because my house is a mess and I need to clean up. But I found them um, and now we are on our way. I was gonna do my hair. Um, not really much to actually do to my hair, but um, I was gonna put it up in a little ponytail or whatever, but we ain't got time for that. So I hope y'all enjoyed this little vloggity vlog. I live like, let's just say 40 minutes from the airport. So time to go. Bye y'all. Let me see, here's my little wings. Bye. Hope y'all enjoyed the vlog. Till next time, make sure you subscribe, like, and share.